What's up, everybody? Welcome back again to Holding in the Road, Mr. Gray Fox, Big Bad Hair. And we got uh, we got another topic for you, man. Uh, I'm trying to see your opinion on HBCUs trying to rise to as much dominance and influence as the Power Five. I the, sure hope so, man. The Power Five has the well, they have the power. You know, the NFL always looks at Power Five first. We know it's, it's many different HBCUs that have put out NFL um, talent, you know, many times over. They even have Hall of Famers. But even this last year, recent year, nobody. NFL combine, no HBCU. And uh, it's many talented players that has been there. Uh, so you have the new uh, black coaches that's trying to push for HBCUs to to get more involved, get more sponsors, get more spotlight. So our kids don't think that this is the only way in. You know, this is the only out. So I'm trying to get your opinion on it. Do you think HBCUs, whether it's five or it's ten years, or at least it's heading in the right direction to try to close the gap, the huge gap that it is from the Power Five? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I sure hope so. I mean, uh, um, I think it's been a long time coming. Whenever we talk about HBCUs and uh, especially football, mm -hmm. Ron pops up in my mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, anybody from that era would tell you where all the talent used to be. True. Before, just like everything else, it was hijacked. Mm -hmm. And... Um, like Ron say, uh, I want to see my baby on TV. <laughs> you know oh, what I mean? yeah. But the point that he was trying to make, if you got talent, you got talent. That's true. And I heard a wise man say, you know what I'm saying? If you have the talent, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about looking for somebody. They're going to come to Somebody you. looking for you. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'd like to see, I think I seen uh, Brother Last Year, Young Brother Last Year, he was a five-star recruit. I think he went to... Uh, to go visit? I think he went to FAM. Yeah, you're talking about... Uh, that was two was years a, ago. Yeah, uh, it was an offensive lineman or something, wasn't it? Uh, d line. Okay, yeah. That pass was, he's at, uh, yeah. he's at Oregon right now. He ended up going to Oregon. I know you're talking Oh, yeah? About. Wow. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I would love to see that because I know what a football program can not only do for that school what it can do for an economy and what it can do for a city and what it can do for our community. Oh, yeah. So, again, years ago, we was Jack. Oh, yeah. Straight up. Yeah. And uh, shoot out, uh, shoot out, shout out to Deion Sanders out there in uh, Jackson. You over there, Jackson, Jackson Mississippi. State. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, one of my homegirls got a son that's playing for him. I think he a D lineman. And uh, much success. I wish you much success. You know what I'm saying? All the HBCUs, you know what I mean? Wish you much, uh, wish you much success. You know, and I would, uh, you know, I hope we can get back to where, you know, they used to be. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I, 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 I hope, you know, we could look forward to see that. I, I hope we see a rise in kids going to HBCUs. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, but now it come to the, the, uh, the okie doke. Mm -hmm. They talking about playing the, play, paying the players now. That's true. That's true. So now if you can get more money to go to Alabama versus Jackson State. Mm -hmm. It'd be hard. It'd be hard. And um, that's why um, Dion on 21 and Prime, go check him out. Um, also on I Am Athlete, they talked about Dion already got, you know, he, he he's he's focused like that. And, you know, he has the name, he has the clout, he has everything that, you know, all all the ideas to push it. But he's already got those guys' sponsors, you know, to get out there and do it. He got ahead of the curve because, like you said, if you go to Ohio State, you know, maybe even Miami, they already got the energy coming. So mm -hmm. it's easy for them to say, hey, man, go over here to this dealership, man. We already hooked up. You're going to get you some money from them. They're going to sponsor you. They're going to put you in a commercial. You know, if you like Jackson State, you know, Howard or somebody, hey, well, we got to build our brand up. Mm -hmm. You know, you're behind the eight ball. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I do like what certain coaches like that, and hopefully people will go off Dion's formula mm -hmm. to help with HBCUs. 
And um, I actually hope that it, it happened to be other coaches that actually, you know, bring mm-hmm. more into yeah, HBCU. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And from my understanding, he got like uh, other uh, Hall of Fame players, at least mm-hmm. notable players. T.O. You know definitely. Yeah, um, that's, that's I think awesome. Warren Sapp. I think Warren Sapp. Yeah, I, I think I heard yeah. Sapp too, but I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, yeah, man, I mean, I, I, I hope it, it works out. But one thing, though, y'all got to win. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to have, you got to build a successful program, and I think Dion know that you have to build a successful program. And not only do you have to not build, uh, uh, you have to build a successful program. These kids got to get drafted. They do. You know they, they got to know that hey, look here, if I come to you, I play for you, that I'm going to get drafted. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, my blood, sweat, and tears mean something. Oh yeah, you know, when I come yeah, to yeah. Education is top. Yeah. But most people that come yeah. once to hit the NFL. Yeah, especially them five-star recruits, oh, yeah. man. You yeah. know what I mean? They want a shot at the NFL. Now, look, just numbers alone, you know, a lot of them kids ain't going to make it. True. You know, so I always advise kids, hey, look here, man. I don't give a damn if you don't play a down of football on Sunday. Free I'm education. Already, I'm already proud of you. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Go get that education. Yeah. Focus on that education. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, if you making that damn, if you able to get that money, mm-hmm. go ahead. Go and get it. Yeah, go get, get that it. money. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and then you can come back and, and get, get your education. Yeah, finish oh, yeah. up your education later. Exactly. Get, get to that money while you can get to that money. Mm-hmm. I, I get that. Yeah. But uh, I hope that the program is successful. Uh, I, I, I hope all the success, you know what I'm saying, even... Uh, you know, all the HBCUs. I, I hope it becomes a trend. Yep. You know what I mean? That a lot of the five star recruits and uh not only the, the, the kids but the parents, you know, say, Hey look here, you know, why don't you check this out? Yeah, make that movement. At least have you know that I mean? option. Like, like the that. same guy I wish I could remember mm-hmm. his name that went to Oregon. Uh he went stopped by Florida State, he stopped by Fan, but he admit he went to Oregon, but a guy of that magnitude said, I'm going to stop by this HBCU since I'm in town. I love that. And that need to be more of that. Because mm-hmm. that coach, that staff might end up pulling that guy. And that guy might have a beautiful career. Any any guy. Any guy or girl. Because yeah. many talented sports all throughout HBCUs. But um, it helps make that push, that drive, building up that money, building up everything for that community. Mm-hmm. Regardless yeah. of what city it's in. When your HBCU yeah. and your Power 5 school is yeah. doing great. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man. Uh, like I say, much success. I can't wait to see. Will this be his first year? Was this be Dion? Yeah, first year? official first year. Yeah, he he did something. I think in the summer they did like a little half and yeah, half because, thing. Because you know, I think uh, uh, COVID kind of it messed it up. It messed it up. It did. Because I thought it was like last year. He did. He did some stuff last year. If I'm not mistaken, oh, did maybe, they have a season last year? Maybe it was. Yeah, it was. It was like a little summer thing they did. They they played like five or six games, something like that. But this will be his first official year in the swag. This will be official. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This will be his official year starting off. That's it for me, man. Uh, Thanks for watching. Y'all live right. Play fair. Holla at us.